Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. In this video, we will discuss the topic of distance. According to Oxford Dictionary, distance is the length of the space between two points. This video is divided into four sections. Section 1. How common unit of distance is defined? Section 2. Problem associated with common unit definition. Section 3. Conversion between common distance units. And Section 4. Distance calculation using latitude and longitude. Section 1. How common distance unit is defined? Common type of unit used in aviation navigation are imperial units, consists of nautical mile, statute mile, and feet. Metric unit consists of kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. Imperial unit Statute mile is an unsophisticated measurement. It is decreed into law by Queen Elizabeth I in 1593. Hear ye, hear ye. From today onwards, one statute mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Thus, by Her Royal Highness decree, one statute mile equals 5,280 feet. Statute mile is rarely used in aviation unless you are flying in the United States. It is commonly used to report visibility distance. Common imperial unit used in navigation is nautical mile. The distance between Earth pole and equator or 90 degrees change in latitude is 5,400 nautical mile. Thus, the Earth's circumference is 5,400 nautical mile times 4 equal 21,600 nautical mile. Mathematically, we can write 90 degree arc equal 5,400 nautical mile. 1 degree arc equal 5,400 nautical mile over 90. 1 degree is 60 nautical mile. Since every degree consists of 60 minutes, therefore, one minute arc along a meridian is equal to one nautical mile. Remember, this figure is only applicable for change of latitude. For change of longitude, one minute arc equal to one nautical mile is only applicable when the changes happen at equator. This is because the circumference of each latitude is getting smaller as it approaches the poles. I understand this is quite confusing. On the screen is the representation of graticules on a Mercator chart. As you can see, along the latitude, the markings are made of longitude references. Along the longitude, the markings are made of latitude references. The thing that you need to remember is, change of latitude is measured along longitude line and change of longitude is measured along latitude lines. Conversion factor among imperial units are listed on the screen. Metric units Meter is the basis of metric distance unit. In physics, one meter is the distance light travel in a vacuum in 1 over 
458 of a second. This definition is quite useless for navigation. For navigation, we are more interested in kilometer. A more appropriate definition for navigation is a kilometer is one ten thousand of the distance from any of the Earth pole to equator. Thus, Earth circumference is forty thousand kilometer. Conversion among metric units that will be used during examination is listed on the screen. Section two: Problem associated with common unit definition. As I had explained in my previous video, Earth is not a perfect sphere; it is ellipsoid. Thus, it is wider at the middle and slightly flat at the top and bottom. Since kilometer and nautical mile are defined based on the distance between Earth pole and equator, the actual shape of the Earth produces several problems. On the left of the screen is a diagram representing a perfect sphere, and on the right is a diagram representing an ellipsoid. For the sphere. The surface distance covered by 90 degrees angle from North Pole to the equator and 90 degrees angle between two points on the equator is the same. However, if we look at the ellipsoid diagram, the distance covered by 90 degrees angle from North Pole to the equator and 90 degrees angle between two points on the equator is not the same. For this reason. The definition, one nautical mile equal one minute arc of a meridian varies depending on latitude. At the equator, one nautical mile equal one thousand eight hundred forty three meter, and at the pole, one nautical mile equal one thousand eight hundred sixty one meter. Therefore, we can say that one minute of arc along equator. Measure a greater distance than one minute of arc along the meridian at a latitude of forty-five degree north or south. To resolve the problem for the purpose of this subject and navigation in general, we assume that the Earth is a perfect sphere, and we take the IKO conversion factor: one nautical mile equal one thousand eight hundred fifty-two meter. Which measure at latitude approximately 45 degree as true everywhere on the Earth's surface. Section three, conversion between common distance units. On the screen is the conversion factors needed for general navigation examination. You need to memorize the conversion factors in yellow. You can find a link to download the conversion factors in the description. If you forget any of the conversion factor, you can refer to your CRP file to get it. Here is how. First, we will look on how to get conversion factor from nautical mile to statute mile and kilometer. Turn the flight computer so that nautical mile marker written as not dot m in red is up. Align ten on the inner scale with the arrow to the right of nautical mile marker. Align the cursor with the arrow to the right of statute mile marker written as stat dot m in red. Read the value on the inner scale. Eleven point five, which means. Ten nautical miles equal to eleven point five statute mile. Thus, one nautical mile equal one point one five statute miles. Next, let's find conversion factor from nautical mile to kilometer. Turn the flight computer so that the kilometer marker written in red as km dash m dash ltr is up. 
align the cursor with the arrow underneath the kilometer marker. Read the value on the inner scale. 18.25 10 nautical miles equal to 18.25 kilometers. Thus, 1 nautical mile equals 1.825 kilometers. Remember, you can't directly convert from nautical mile, statute mile, or kilometer to feet. Now, let's take a look on how to find conversion factor from meter to feet. Make sure the marker written as km dash m dash ltr in red is up next align 10 on the inner scale with the arrow underneath the meter marker turn the flight computer so that the feet marker written in red is up align the cursor with the small arrow to the left of the feet marker Get the reading from the inner scale. 32.8 Which means 10 meter equal 32.8 feet. Thus, 1 meter equal 3.28 feet. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. To learn on how to convert between a unit, we will look at a couple examples. Example 1. Convert 27.3 nautical mile to centimeter. There are two methods to answer this question. We can either use calculation or CRP5. First, I will show the calculation and later we will use CRP5. 1 nautical mile equal 1852 meter. First, we convert nautical mile to meter. 27.3 multiplied by 1852 equals 50,559.6 meters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. To convert from meter to centimeter, multiply the figure we just got with a hundred. Therefore, 27.3 nautical mile equal 5,055,960 centimeter. Now, let's look on how to use CRP5 to solve this example. First, Turn the flight computer so that the nautical mile marker is up. Align 27.3 on the inner scale with the small arrow to the right of nautical mile marker. Turn the flight computer so that KM-M-LTR marker which represent the kilometer marker is up. Ensure the cursor is aligned with the arrow below the kilometer marker. Read the reading on the inner scale. 50.5 km To convert kilometer to centimeter, multiply 50.5 km with 100,000. The answer is 5 million 50,000 centimeter. As you can see, the answer we get from CRP5 is not as accurate as the answer that we get from calculation. However, it is close enough for us to answer the objective questions. Example 2. Convert 321 kilometer into nautical mile. First, we will do the calculation. 1 nautical mile equal 
by 2 km. 321 km equal 3 to 1 divided by 1.852 nautical mile. 321 km equal 173 decimal 33 nautical mile. Now, let's look on how to use CRP5 to solve this example. Make sure kilometer marker written as km-m-ltr is up. Let me move the cursor away so we can see more clearly. Next, align 32.1 on the inner scale with kilometer marker. Turn the flight computer so that nautical mile marker is up. Align the cursor with the small arrow to the right of nautical mile marker. Read the value from the inner scale. 17.3 Which means 32.1 km equals 17.3 nautical mile. Therefore, 321 km equals 173 nautical mile. Once again, we can see that the answer produced by the flight computer is less accurate than calculation, but it is close enough. Section 4. Distance calculation using latitude and longitude. According to general navigation syllabus, you are only required to calculate distance between two set of latitude and longitude for great circle distance along equator, great circle distance along a meridian and its anti-meridian, small circle distance along a parallel of latitude. Some of you might ask why we will not be asked to calculate great circle distance between any two points during ATPL examination. The answer is simple. The formula to calculate great circle distance between any two points on the Earth's surface is very long and confusing. The website Underground Mathematics display on the screen explain the method of calculating great circle distance between any two points. You can check it up if you are interested. Link is in the description. Now, we will look on how to calculate great circle distance between two points along the equator. Example 3. Calculate distance between point A, 0 degree, 0 minute, north or south, 25 degree, 30 minute east, and point B, 0 degree, 0 minute, north or south, 33 degree, 18 minute west. By looking at the latitude of both points, we know that they are both located on the equator. Therefore, we can use 1 minute of arc equal to 1 nautical mile. Now, we need to find change of longitude. Chelong equals 25 degrees 30 minute plus 33 degrees 18 minute. We sum the value because these two longitudes are in different hemisphere. If the two longitudes are in the same hemisphere, we need to take the difference. Chelong equal 58 degrees 48 minutes. To get the distance, turn 58 degree 48 minutes into minutes. To turn degree into minutes, multiply it with 60. Distance equal 3528 nautical mile. 
Now we will look on how to calculate grid circle distance between two points along a meridian and its anti-meridian. What is the shortest distance between A 64 degree 35 minute north 010 degree 0 minute west and B 53 degree 15 minute south 170 degree 0 minute east? To identify whether the two points given are along a meridian and its anti-meridian, you need to find the change of longitude between these two points. If Chelong is equal to 180 degrees, it confirms that this, this two point is positioned on a meridian and its anti-meridian. Chelong equals 010 degrees plus 170 degrees equals 180. Now it is confirmed that these two points is on a meridian and its anti-meridian. Since a line along a meridian and its anti-meridian is a great circle and the changes between these two points is change of latitude, we can use one minute equal to one nautical mile figure. To calculate change of latitude for this type of question, it is easier to use a simple diagram. The circle on the screen represent the meridian and its anti-meridian. The dotted line represent the equator. The blue line represent position A. 64 degree 35 minute north is measured from the equator as shown on the screen. Green line represent position B. 53 degree 15 minute south is measured from the equator as shown on the screen. The closest distance between these two positions is marked by the black arc. Therefore, Chilet equals 180 degrees minus 64 degrees 35 minute plus 53 degree 15 minute. One hundred sixty-eight degree forty minute. To get the distance, convert chillet to minute by multiplying it with sixty. The distance is ten thousand one hundred twenty nautical miles. Now we will look on how to calculate small circle distance between two points along a parallel of latitude. Example 5. What is the distance between 0, 0, 005 degree west and 0, 010 degree east at a latitude of 35 degree south? For this calculation, we need to use departure formula. Departure equal change of longitude multiply by cos latitude. Chelong in this formula need to be in minute. To convert from degree to minute, we multiply it by 60. Departure is the small circle distance between two points along a parallel of latitude. Now, we need to find all the ingredients for the formula. Change of longitude equal 5 degree plus 10 degree. Change of longitude equal 15 degree. The latitude for both point is 35 degree. Plug in all values into the formula. Departure equal 15 degree multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos 35. Seven hundred thirty-seven point two four nautical mile. For more thorough explanation on departure, please.
please check my previous video title departure. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. If you want to learn more about ATPL or other aviation related stuff, subscribe now by clicking on the round subscribe icon. Please check out my other video by clicking on the rectangular box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.